Hello, my name is Jennifer Moore, Director, SAP PLM Solution Sales for Senate North America, sister company of Caristo GmbH, part of the Senate family of companies. Welcome to the first video of our short series about SAP Product Structure Management, aka SAP PSM, which we're going to introduce you to today. Managing product structures is constantly gaining importance for the creation of value in manufacturing companies. There are plenty of reasons for this including the fact that customers demand increasingly individualized products, causing the number of product variants offered to rise simultaneously, while offering what's being coined as a lot size of one becomes a goal. This leads to a change on the company's side towards thinking in product families and platforms, and of course to keep release management in check. Furthermore, inner complexity of products continues to rise, New technologies are spreading and the disciplines collaborating in product development, including mechanical, electronic, and software engineering, all bring their own life cycles with them that have to be managed in one shared structure. Last but not least, the economic goal to reuse as many components and solutions in the product portfolio as possible is ever more important due to the increasing competition. SAP product structure management helps us tackle these challenges. And that's why we've started this short series to demonstrate how PSM enables companies to succeed across each of these points. The main idea today is to give you a first impression of the functionality in SAP PSM. We've prepared a simplified example, a car air conditioning or AC device. As you can see, it consists of a cover, a display, an electronics unit, and a cooling device. As you can also see for three of these functions, there are several solutions that are used based on the configuration of the finished AC. For clarification, let's look at this as a representation of a structure in SAP PSM. Now, here we have the product family on top, then the product items, and beneath the product items, variants. That's a pretty good overview of the basics. Now, if I need the data for a specific configuration, I can select the associated components. Let's start with the basic model, with just one climate zone and without integration of navigation. Then we need the cover, just one dial and a basic display, the associated electronics and the actual cooling unit, and of course the other configurations would be derived in the same way. And even in this simple example, you can see that we already have 16 possible and four consistent configurations. However, as we'll see in the system, it's really not that simple, not even in this example, because we also have software, parameters for the software, manuals, and services that also belong to the product structure. So we already have 576 possible and 72 consistent configurations in this incredibly simplified structure. Let's take a look at it in the system now. Here we have the selection screen for displaying our product structure. I've already selected our AC so we can enter directly into displaying that structure. On the left hand side we see the product structure. Let me expand that now based on what we saw in the presentation. Beginning with the cooling unit, here we see the way down from the product family to the product item variant and the same goes for our cockpit. This is split up again here for our example. Let's take the control elements with their two item variants, then the display with its two variants and the electronics with its four variants. And so we see the example like I just showed you here in the product structure. Of course, we can have a closer look at the individual elements as well. So when I select a variant on the right, I see the associated information such as a change master, the pen pending material master, etc., to which I can jump very easily. Here we can also find a detailed description, object dependencies, documents, classes, and additional pending data. That's basically what I wanted to show you today in our first look here at SAP PSM. In upcoming videos, we'll find out how to get uh, from a complete product structure which we can easily display here, of course, to a fully configured product. To do this, we can create simulations and edit dependencies, and quite easily, I might add. We'll show that in our second video on SAP Product Structure Management. I hope you've enjoyed this nice, brief look at SAP PSM. 
To conclude, let's touch on the benefits that SAP PSM offers. It ensures a higher level of data integration between engineering disciplines and promotes cooperation and efficiency in product engineering. SAP PSM represents a comprehensive single source of truth for all product dependent information and can be an important step towards the digital twin and digitalization. SAP PSM also makes it possible for engineering to concentrate on working on innovations rather than being the knowledge center for all accessible product related data. By supporting all possible downstream processes with real time product data, it can also help improve product quality. This is even more important since the existence of a centralized product structure enables a simplified and more transparent release and change management process. This provides a clear, concise understanding of SAP PSM's high level functionality. Thank you for your attention. If you're interested in additional details on SAP PSM, like editing dependencies or visual support for product configuration, utilizing SAP 3D Visual Enterprise, please refer to our other videos in this series on SAP product structure management or by contacting us directly. For direct questions, please feel free to reach out to us at Senate North America at info at senate.com, or of course our sister company, part of the Senate family of companies, Caristo, at myquestion at caristo.com. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.